The scripture reference that comes to my mind when I look at the painting of Caspar David Friedrich is the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. When Jesus invites people to come to him if you are weary, and I will give you rest. But of course, the painting may touch you in a different way, and another passage of Scripture might seem more relevant to you. The painting that you are looking at at the moment is by a German artist of the late 18th, early uh, 19th century, um, Caspar David Friedrich, generally recognized as one of the great landscape artists of the time period. And the painting is called Morning in the Great Mountains. It was painted in 1810, and uh, if you wish to see it, it is in Berlin. And this is just a detail from that painting. And when you look at it, you can see that there is a mountain top and there is a crucifix. And then you'll see the two figures. One is a lady dressed in white, and the other is a gentleman dressed in black. Now, part of the title kind of gets us to reflect and think because it's called Morning in the Mountains. And therefore, for them to get to the foot of the cross, they would have had to walk through the night in order to get to the mountain top, or they left very early in the morning um, at dawn to get there. And so the lady is helping the gentleman on that very last bit of the climb to come to the foot of the cross. The cross is between heaven and earth. It is in an intersituation that there is sky above uh, where the, the crucifix is. So Christ is suspended between heaven and earth, a Christ who came down from heaven to earth to help bring us from earth to heaven. And the Caspar David Friedrich has managed to take that point where the cross is suspended in a way between heaven and earth. And so it sends up to us all kinds of thought patterns about a lady dressed in white. And white we would generally take as purity. And the gentleman is dressed in black, which we would generally look on as a symbol of sinfulness. And so this woman is helping this man to come to the foot of the cross so that he can then be in the presence of Christ. And so, A, I think it is good for us to just sit back and to reflect about that and to think about the implications of that. But then, we should always try to put ourselves into the painting. We need to be part of the painting, not just a viewer looking at it, but that it is much more personal. And so do we see ourselves as the one who is helping other people to come to Christ? Or are we, in fact, the person who needs to be with Christ and to make that journey and to have a fellow guide who is going to help us to come to the foot of the cross to be with Christ. And so a difficult journey as well. We all have difficult spiritual journeys. They're not easy. There's often stumbling blocks along the way, but we get there. And very often with the help of other people and spiritual guides, that we can become very close to Christ, 
because of the influence and the hard work of others. But then, of course, we should try also to be the one who is bringing other people to Christ. And so it's not only our own spiritual life that is important, but in the way in which we live our life, the way in which we interact with other people in our community, in our work, in our family, in our socializing, that we can also be that influence of helping other people to come to Christ because they see in us someone who is close to Christ and is happy in our life being close to Christ. Now that we have spent some time looking at the painting, what do you see? <laughs>